Number four mats are one of the areas where you can make the biggest single impact on a pivot table. You need to know how to format them and I'm going to tell you how in this video. Now I used to have a maths teacher that used to keep saying three sig figs, three sig figs. And basically what it meant was you only want to see three significant figures. If you're reporting in millions, you know, and you've got like double digit millions, one decimal place is plenty enough. So we want to tackle the number four mats on this pivot table that you see in the screen. Firstly, you can right click on any number in the pivot table and click number four mat, which is probably the simplest way of doing it. And then you can pick any standard number format. So you could just say, well, we're going to put no decimal places and a comma, for example. So we'll do that. But actually looking at this, I'd say we're pretty much looking at numbers in the thousands. Maybe a thousands plus one decimal place would be a better number format to use. So we're going to create a custom number format now. Um, the, the rule with custom number formats is the they're separated by the semicolons. So if you look at this one, for example, you've got a semicolon. After each semicolon is how to treat another part of the number format. So first part is positive numbers. Second part is negative numbers. Third part is zeros. And fourth part is text. Now, you pretty much don't need to use all of those. Positive and negative is going to be fine. So what I'm going to do is use um, this one as a good starting point. And I'm just going to take out, if we put hash point zero, comma, and then remove that. And you can see by having a comma on the end, what we've done is, uh, but no, but no trailing places. We've said effectively show a number that's rounded to thousands. The point zero, I'm actually going to put 0, 0 0.0 and then a comma. I'm not even going to show what to do with negatives because then it will default to the same. 0, 0 0.0 comma will give me thousands because that's what the comma says. And it will show at least one number before the decimal place and after the decimal place. Now, it, if we think we've got numbers that are going to go up to a million, what we could do is we could put the hash symbol comma two more of those. So what that will now show is normally that would be thousands, but by putting the comma on the end, we're saying that's now going to be, we want three more decimal places missing, if you get what I mean. Anyway, I'll push OK on that. Now you can see we've got everything showing in thousands, which I think is going to be ideal for this pivot table. So don't forget you can download the spreadsheet by clicking on the link in the description. You can work for all of this or just have ready-made examples. You've been watching Up for Excel, where we aim to get your Excel skills up and your task times down. See you soon.